Hello everybody, this is Saber Wolf with another build video for you today. Today I'll be going over that, I guess, long-awaited scythe version of the Warrior Endurance uh, Warrior build. Uh, this, is, of course, is a Warrior Dervish build and encompasses the weapon scythe and the elite skill Warrior's Endurance. Now the first thing I'm going to go over is the scythe. Now the scythe um, can actually hit up to three targets that are in front of you. Um, so since you're actually getting a possible three hits, Warrior's Endurance will actually trigger each time when you hit with that melee attack. So you could actually gain a uh, nine energy on one swing of the scythe, which is really good for energy management on this build. Now the other skills that we have on this bar, of course, is Power Attack. Power Attack's it's probably going to be one of the best um, attack skills on the warrior. I'm just going to say that right now. It's only three second recharge and it does a plus 38. So it can hit pretty hard, recharge fast, and only cost five energy. So it's a pretty good core uh, uh, attack skill for our warrior. Um, other attack skills we have is, of course, the very popular Victorious Sweep. Because not only does it do a plus 25 uh, damage with a quick recharge of four seconds, but you also gain a 10, uh, sorry, 70 health uh, for each foe you hit that has less health than you. Um, since you actually have about 580, um, which is fairly on the higher end of uh, starting HP, um, there's a good chance that you're actually going to get a trigger for each hit. Again, possible three hits with a scythe uh, could uh, encompass you to get a, a good heal of about 210. So that's pretty decent right there. Uh, another attack we have is Radiant Scythe. Um, this this attack basically you do plus two damage per uh, energy point you have on your bar up to uh, plus forty one. Uh, so for instance, since Warrior's Endurance uh, can only get up to twenty four uh, energy on your bar at one time, um, you will actually meet the requirement of the uh, of this attack since um, about half of I'm going to say basically half of 40 is a 20 energy. So as long as you have at least 20 energy on your bar, you'll get the full effect of Radiant Scythe for a plus 40 uh, attack with this uh, skill. And it's only 6 second recharge, so it's pretty fast as well. Uh, last but not least for the attack skills, we have Zealous Sweep. Uh, this attack, although it only does a plus 22 damage, uh, for each target you hit, you gain additional three energy on each foe you hit. So it's just like a, a warrior's endurance with your attack that you're actually doubling the energy you gain on a hit. So if you hit theoretically three foes in front of you with a scythe, um, with warrior endurance up, and you hit him with the zealous sweep, you will gain a plus 18 energy on that hit. That's pretty darn good energy management, especially when you follow it up with a Radiant Scythe that will do a plus 36 following that. And in total, you're only using 10 energy for, to do those two skills together. So that's great uh, energy management right there. Um, however, if you want to, you can use Counter Attack uh, instead of Zealous Sweep. Um, that's always good as well. It does actually more damage at a plus 33. Uh, with your strength, which by the way, I have my strength spec to uh, 14 strength. That is the uh, plus one for my helmet and actually the plus one on my gloves. Usually you have this strength rune on your helmet, but I do have it on my gloves. So again, plus four, uh, I have 14 on strength and I'm running a 12 inside of mastery and the other three points are pretty much wasted here. Um, but going back again uh, with Zealous Sweep, uh, you can use again counterattack. that's plus 33 like I mentioned before. Um, you actually gain plus 6 energy um, on each target you hit if they are attacking. So you could have a potential of getting more energy with uh, counterattack, but it's not guaranteed. So after a uh, discussion with a couple of my uh, guildy alliance mates, uh, we figured that Zealous Sweep probably would have been better since you do get a guaranteed energy gain versus a possible energy gain. But like I said, counterattack is a good option if you want a little bit extra damage and risk the energy management a little bit. Um, also, another good attack um, on this bar, it's not really attack, you don't really hit do damage, but it's distracting blow. And with a side that actually opens up your um, range a little bit more, and basically interrupts every single um, target that's in front of you. You don't actually hit with a target, it doesn't do any damage, um, but it, it is a very good interrupt in the quick recharge of uh, 10 seconds. Uh, it's actually my most popular, it's actually my favorite uh, interrupt on a warrior bar. 
And other skills that on the spar again is a burst of aggression, which again is all my other warriors during spars because you do not get the uh, negative effect of adrenaline since we're not running any adrenaline on the spar, and it actually increases your attack by three to three percent for uh, nine seconds. So Those really only like a three second cooldown. Um, last but not least, all bars gotta have a res. Um, since I'm not able to bring a uh, bring a renewable res, uh, re Sunspear Rebirth Signet. I like that um, more over the uh, regular uh, res sig because you can actually uh, teleport the uh, body to you when you res them. Um, but of course, uh, res sig is perfectly fine for any for using on the spell. All right, enough talk. Let's try using the attack. I'm going to attack the adjacent, and there's a good possibility I'm actually I'm going to hit the uh, master damage as well for doubling up the damage here. Of course, as always, upkeep uh, Warrior's Endurance at all times. It lasts for 33 seconds on a 30 second recharge, so it'll be very easy to uh, manage the upkeep of that. And of course, Burst of Aggression to increase the attack speed so you can get through your attack chain. Um, it's probably good actually to start with Radiant Scythe on the attack, on the attack chain since after using uh, 10 energy, uh, from the first two skills you'll have 18 energy left, we'll, which will give you uh, plus 36 damage on your first attack with Radiant Science, so it's probably best to uh, start with that first. Alright, and away we go. So, where is Nerds up? Burst of Aggression. We're going to use that Radiant Science first. I'm going up through the skills here. I was able to use Power Attack again, and the target's dead after basically one chain through this through attacks. And I also hit the uh, master damage as you could tell so I was actually doubling up my energy gain and my energy bar is already filled all the way up to the uh, 28. And because um, even though um, ener max energy gain can't get past 24 from Warrior's Endurance, uh, the Zealous Sweep will actually get me past that point um, on my bar. So you will actually stay maintain the full energy at all times. Well, I hope you enjoy this build and try it out sometime. Again, this is the scythe version of the Warren's Endurance build, and I will talk to you later. Thank you, and have a great day.